Want to learn how to remove some copper spots from otherwise shiny gold coins? Well, I'm going to show you how. And lucky for us, I just happen to have a 225th anniversary American Liberty gold coin. And yep, she has some copper spots. But we're going to take care of all that. There are three main schools of thought on removing copper spots. The first is to use tin foil, baking soda, and boiling water. Basically, you're gonna science the shit out of it. The second way, and I'm not even kidding here, is to use a blowtorch. And the third way is apparently just too simple to be recommended by experienced coin stackers. It involves your spotty gold coin, and a grade schoolies eraser. Now this is not a product endorsement of any particular brand. We just need a rubber eraser and this one seems lovely. The important point here, and I cannot stress this enough, is that this is not a magic eraser. A magic eraser is super abrasive and you do not want it anywhere near your shiny gold coins. Okay, here we go. All right, wait. <laughs> Before we get into this, we need to cover a few ground rules. So first of all, I am not a professional coin cleaner. This is not an official technique I developed per se. I just wondered if using a rubber eraser might be a more practical solution than the recommendations of a dozen or so how-to videos that I found on YouTube. And it turns out it is. But now that we're all clear that I'm not a pro here, you need to understand that if you muck up your coin, that's on you. I'm with you in spirit though, so let's get back to it. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start this off with a pretty light touch. And honestly, I don't know why I'm starting out on the shiniest part of the coin. Uh, that hasn't done anything yet. But I guess it is probably a little too late to apologize anyway. Huh. Now, I don't know for sure if this is going to work, actually, but, but I guess you do, because I'm, I'm not going to post this if it doesn't. Yeah, okay, that looks a little lighter. And there are not any marks from the eraser, because it turns out that rubber is softer than gold. All right, we're clearly making progress, but I'm going to move to the spots in her hair. I'm a little less concerned here since the texture of her braids would hide anything that we might screw up. And I do mean we because remember we're in this together. Unless it's your coin and then you are on your own. <laughs> nah, I'm, j I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's definite progress. All right, I'm gonna go back to the edge and see if I can take care of the, it's lighter, take care of the main spot. Give it one more shot, see what happens. Hey, look at that. There is zero wear from that eraser and I think we are good. All right, so back to her hair. That is also getting better, but I still see some, especially on that last star. Yeah, better. Yeah, okay, so honestly, I'm probably gonna have to come back to this after the video, but just on camera, but we're making a lot of progress. This is a little hard to see in real life. I'm sure it's gonna be a lot clearer in the video but again, we can come back to it. This is just, we've made amazing progress quickly. We have not had to blowtorch this shiny gold coin. <laughs> we haven't had to drop it into tin foil and baking soda, some kind of chemistry experiment. I think I'm gonna drop it back in its capsule. So the two or three of you out there who can't believe I'm touching live gold with my bare hands <laughs> can get over that part and just take a look at what we've accomplished because she looks pretty, pretty amazing. 
Yeah, look at that. I think it was Backyard Bullion who just did the, the video of the full hard touch cleaning recently. And that guy's probably like two or three times smarter than I am, but I'm kind of a golden god at coin cleaning. And now you are too. I mean, and all you had to do to get there is to hit that like button <laughs> and make sure you're subscribed and then, you know, put some really nice words in the comment area. And I think that's going to do it for this edition of DIY Coin Cleaning. And hopefully we covered this well enough that this is both the first and the last coin cleaning video. But if you've been on the edge of your seats through this video and want more of it, you know how to tell me about it. Just hit me up in the comments, hit that like button, and have a great day.